Hi everyone. Um, I wanted to give my initial reaction thoughts. Uh, last night I went to see Avengers Infinity War. Um, I decided late last night, probably about 10 o'clock, that I was going to get tickets to go and see it because I didn't want to see any spoilers on the web. I didn't want to hear any of the water cooler talk at work or overhear anything going, oh, such and such and this happened and somebody died and any of that. So I decided last night I was just going to grab a ticket. Um, I managed to get hold of a ticket, which was a spare seat in one of the VIP boxes in the local cinema. These boxes are set behind the main theatre and they only hold about 12, 13 people. You have your own sound system and everywhere you're separated off from the main theatre by um, like a sheet of a glass or perspex or whatever it is. Um, I do have tickets again on Saturday with um, my son Nathan. That is for IMAX 3D, so I'm really looking forward to seeing it in IMAX 3D. But initial thoughts on the movie, I really, really enjoyed it. Really loved the movie. I would probably put the movie in my top three Marvel movies. The worst movies in the current Marvel Cinematic Universe, I feel in my opinion, were Iron Man 3, which I didn't like, and also Thor The Dark World, which I would probably put at the bottom, if I'm honest, because I really did not like that movie. So thoughts on the movie? There were actually people in the VIP boxes next to me who were crying. Uh, there's a lot of audible gasps, uh, where people are shocked at some of the things that's going on. And the Russo, oh, can't even say it. The Russo brothers did say, "Be prepared when you go and see this movie," and that is absolutely true. That does hold true. Within the first five minutes, the movie kicks off, and it doesn't stop right until the end. It just keeps going and going. It never feels like it lets up. It is the longest running Marvel movie to date. Um, I think it's two two hours thirty two hours forty something like that. So yeah. I don't even know what to say. Um, I got back home about 3 o'clock this morning. It's now about 8 o'clock in the morning. I got up about 7, so I'm running on a few hours sleep. But the movie is brilliant. It is fantastic. The CGI in the movie is brilliant. Uh, it has funny moments. There's great character interactions, especially when the characters are meeting each other for the first time. Um, and we've seen parts of that in the trailer. With Spider-Man meeting Doctor Strange and saying, you know, oh, we're using, we're made up names. Well, I'm Spider-Man and stuff like that. So we've seen a lot um, a lot of that in the trailers, but it, it is very humorous. And they have definitely carried over the feeling with Thor from Ragnarok uh, in terms of the humor and everything on that. He's really funny in the, in the movie again. The movie kind of feels organic in the way everything happens and the way everybody comes together. Again, I'm trying to do this without giving too many spoilers away, but there's definitely deaths in this movie some of the characters definitely feel like this is their end some of them however i feel there could be something done um to bring some of them back i do have one issue with something that happened in the movie but i can't say what that is because if i say what that is that's going to give away parts of the movie in terms of what happens i'm not going to say too much about it but i have an issue with something that someone done they did say they wouldn't do it uh in the movie and the excuse they do give for doing it was a bit lame, if I'm honest. Um, so I do have that one issue with the movie. But other than that, I thoroughly enjoyed the movie. And it did not feel like two and a half hours. Like I say, once it starts going at the beginning, you're just in. It's Avengers Infinity War. And you're, just, you're, you're straight in. And it's it's just moving along at a very nice pace. And it never feels like it. It, it didn't feel to me anyway as if it sagged in the middle or went slow or anything like that. There is one cutscene to hang around, which is at the very end. So make sure you stay around for that. <clears throat> in terms of Thanos as a villain, I did and I did like Thanos as a villain in, in this movie. He was really well done by Josh Brolin, who plays him, and also Cable in Deadpool. I was a bit worried about what Thanos would actually look like in terms of CG. Would it be really good? Would he feel a bit plasticky? You know, like an action figure walking around on the screen. But that wasn't the case. He felt really real as if he was there. And I remember in one place where I was sitting where we seen um, the, the things that were happening in Wakanda, which we've seen part of in the trailers, you know, that you could see the shadows of the trees above him and everything like that. And he just felt like he was there, like he was part of it. I didn't actually feel as if I was watching, you know, someone who wasn't real. Um, I was quite invested in him when he was there. And I think Josh role in terms of what he gives to the role in his voice acting with that really does a good job but yeah it was a great movie definitely be prepared when you go again i can't say too much because i don't want to give anything away for anybody at all 
Um, we do get to spend a lot of time with different characters. There's a lot, a lot of characters in this movie. I'm not sure of the count of the number of heroes. I mean, this is the 19th movie. There's a lot of heroes to pull from from previous what's what's gone on. There is a couple of them missing, but they are mentioned by name. But we do get to spend time with each of them, and sometimes I felt that was a little bit short for some of the characters. Um, Black Panther, I felt, was a little bit underused in the movie. Uh, we didn't get to spend enough time with him, I thought. The battle scene, which we've seen um, in the trailers, you know, with all the Wakandan warriors running and things like that, that is really, really good and really well done. Um, the Russo brothers have definitely done a good job in directing it. The story in itself is brilliant. It's a brilliant conclusion to what's been 10 years coming in the, the Marvel Cinematic Universe. So that, it just feels like everything is coming together from the previous movies, if that makes sense. There's definitely, you know, the tying up of threads, the Infinity Stones, what's happening with them. You do see the Soul Stone in this one and where that comes from, which I wasn't expecting. Um, I had my own theories about where that could be and it wasn't what that was. So definitely really good, but definitely some shocks. Be prepared. Go see it. It's a brilliant film. Absolutely loved it. And that is it. I just wanted to get my initial reactions out. Just um, my thoughts on the first viewing. I've got a second, maybe even a third viewing coming up. Um, so I will look forward to both of them. So if you made it this far, thanks for watching. I've been dribbling on a bit because this is probably going to be pretty unedited when I pour it up. So if you go and see the movie, let me know in the comments below what you think of it. Um, and your initial thoughts of it as well. Whether you liked it, didn't like it. Um, but try and keep it spoiler free I don't want to spoil anything for anybody uh, as the Russo brothers put out hashtag Thanos demands your silence anyway I am off I will see you guys later we've got more vlogs coming up um, and we've got a couple of videos after that as well so I enjoy those and I'll see you guys later bye